What does an archer do when he can't hit the target? He jumps. In my last video, I showed how archerfish have to practice, practice, and then practice some more before they can actually get a bite to eat. In the meantime, they still need to eat, and the food is still out of reach. Or is it? By now, you've met my archerfish, Tim and Scott. They are actually named after two of my favorite YouTubers, Tim Dodd and Scott Manley who are space and rocket lovers and educators. When you think about it, sending rockets into space fits in nicely with our motto, reach outside your world. So where were we? Ah oh yes, Scott the Archerfish. He has developed remarkable aim. Tim, on the other hand, has problems shooting. I think it's because his bottom jaw is so much longer than Scott's. When he shoots, it comes out as a splatter instead of a stream. But this deficiency has motivated Tim to develop other methods of reaching dry food. In order to fully appreciate what you are about to see, we need to just back up a little bit. Let me show you what my other fish look like when they jump for their food. Watch closely as this black skirt tetra tries to jump. There it was. Let me slow it down for you. Here he comes, and it stopped. His nose is just outside the water. Unfortunately, that's actually the best he can do. That's probably the highest I've ever seen one jump. Meet Orthos, my work beta. He lives in this fishbowl with a beautiful bamboo plant growing out of it. My wife gave that to me for Valentine's Day last year. Orthos can jump enough to eat food right off my finger. Any beta fish can learn this. You should get one and give it a try. Warning, it can be a little scary to have a fish bite your finger, but as you can see by Jack's big smile, Orthos is harmless. One more jumper before we get to the main event. This is what Scott looks like when he jumps. Now this is old footage because I can't get Scott to jump anymore. He always shoots his food down now. Now that your expectation levels are properly set, you're ready to watch Tim take it to a whole nother level. Amazing, right? Well, I wanted to see just how high Tim could jump. I figured if I could hang a shrimp at an adjustable level, I could find out. I had to make sure that the fish wouldn't be hurt or get hung up in any way on the string. My solution was super simple. With a needle, I run the thread through the center of a shrimp, pulling it through all the way to the very end of the string. Then friction is all that holds the shrimp on the line. This way, three or four shots from Scott or a flying snag from Tim will slide the thread right out with no danger to the fish. Here is the result.
Is that just amazing or what? In my last video and in an upcoming video, Scott really shines with his water shooting abilities. But this is all Tim. It seems that Tim's weakness with shooting water streams has actually strengthened his jumping ability. And it's like that for all of us. Too often we focus on our deficiencies and we miss that handicaps can reveal new and hidden talents that help us to reach outside our world. What are your hidden talents? Discover them, develop them, and share them with others. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. There are more episodes to come. Click subscribe and click the bell so that you can be notified when new videos are posted. I'm Jared Wood. This is Archer Fish Tank. Reach outside your world.